Hey guys, this is Eugene from Review Outdoor Gear and I have another tie to show you today. This tie was shown to me by a guy on YouTube. His, um, he called it by his last name, I believe, and it's called the Rabinak Knot. Uh, here's how you spell it right here. Uh, kind of cool name. But anyway, he wanted me to do a tutorial on how to tie it. So here's a finished product. Um, it has this little thing here, like an extra band on the bottom, which looks kind of interesting. Um, and it's kind of hard to tie this knot without having the crease in it. So you probably will have this crease, but that's what the tie looks like. That's the finished product. So I'm going to take it apart and show you how to tie it. So that's the, that's the way it's untied. So grab your tie. This would be in your left hand. This would be in your right hand. And just put it over your neck. Put your collar up. Uh, so you should have the wide end here, narrow end here, and then I'll show you how to tie. So there's one of those that's again tied with the narrow end, uh, and the, tie, the wide end is just going to be hanging down most of the time. So you want to take the tip of the tie here and put it uh, just maybe an inch or so above your belt buckle. And then when you tie it, it'll actually, once you tighten the knot, it will be right at the right length. So you always want to end up with the tip of the tie being right at your belt buckle at the top of it. Okay, so you put that there and then you take uh, the wide end up here and you're going to just make do a little pinch because this will end up pinching anyway and so you might as well do it uh, intentionally otherwise you'll get a really weird pinch in there. And then once you pinch that you will take the narrow end here and put it across that just like that, okay? Across and then back around to the same side. Okay, so just one loop. Then you will take this part and go over the narrow end right here. So you'll go over this and out to the bottom, staying on the same side of the tie. So like that, okay? So that just goes over and to the same side, not to this side. Stay here. Okay, and just be here, kind of pull this so it's close to the main wide end here. Don't have it like way out here, but kind of move it close, move it like that. And then take this, this narrow end again, and put it across the front of the tie. Okay? And then, once you're at this point, you take that and you squeeze it out through the middle of the tie, right here, to here. Let me show that one more time. So I'm going to back up one step. Once you have this across like this, you will just take your thumb and just squeeze that out through here and put it over the, the front like that. So you should be right here. You should have the little narrow end hanging over a loop and the wide end of the tie. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this loop and put this through that. Put the end that you just pulled out through the middle, uh, put it through this loop going down. So just like that, okay? Now at this point, um, it's gonna get a little weird. You have to make sure you do it the right direction. So now you wanna pull it this way and put it uh, around the, the main tie, but you also wanna make sure that it comes, in, uh, uh, comes out the right way. So instead of, um, don't just keep it facing the same way and put it back here like this, because that gets it all twisted up. You actually have to take it and wrap it like this. So if you if you look at the side, okay, here's what I just pulled out. I'm just going to wrap like that. You see that? Just a wrap across the front now. So it comes out on the side and then you go across the front. So I'm going to do it one more time. It's kind of a confusing stuff. So once you have this out to the middle, you're going to take it and you're going to wrap it like this. One to one side and then all the way back to this side. So you have like a second loop around it, okay? At this point, uh, you want to take this little pointy end, or narrow end, and we're gonna stick it through a very interesting spot. So on the very top loop here, if you look down here, you will see that on the back of the tie, there is a little space here, right here, where you can stick something in, right? That's behind the loop here, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we have this end, we're gonna go for another wrap, but instead of coming out this way, we're actually going to stick that into that little pole right there. 
until it comes out this way. So you can see that if you stick it into here, it will come out right there. Okay? Just a very confusing part. There's a lot of kind of looping around and twisting, but that's where it will end up, okay? Now at this point, you're gonna have to kind of adjust things a little bit to make them right. So you can see here that uh, if to tighten the top loop, I would pull this a little bit and push it up. That adds a little extra here. So I have to pull that down. Um, and you'll just have to feel around for what, where it goes and how to pull it down. Um, okay. But you can pull it down to readjust that. And then you can pull this a little bit, like so. Okay, so now you'll see you have a top loop and a small loop. Just basically, that might have sounded confusing. Just when, you, when you're at this point, you might see that some things are loose. Just try to figure out what you need to pull to get them tight, okay? It's a little bit confusing and it's hard to explain, but you can see that I kind of had to play with it a little bit to readjust the tightness. Now, we're gonna take this wide thing here and just fold it. Fold it back on itself like that to make the tie here a little bit thinner under your collar, okay? And this little guy that we just pulled through is gonna go right behind that. So you wanna hide that behind that loop, okay? All right, at this point, we can drop the collar. And there we go, that's called the Rabinak knot. I think it's Andre or something like that. Andre Rabinak made up this uh, this knot, and uh, he wanted to share it with you guys. So there it is. There's how you tie it, and there's what it looks like. One more time for you. So um, you'll have to kind of adjust it and play with the length a little bit to get it the right length. But this is more of like an advanced tie knot, I think. So once you have some of those other tie tying skills, um, you'll you can go on to this one. You can see my other videos also. Uh, about other ties and they'll come up here and check those out those are some really cool knots especially like the trinity knot and the designers knot which i found out actually is uh has a different name some other guy came up with it also but anyway uh you hopefully you enjoy that and you learned something and uh if you have any questions please ask me and uh, this has been eugene with Re Outdoor gear thank you and i'll see you later